Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This tutorial or this video is basically to show you the formatting codes and explain what they're all about or some people refer to them as non-printing characters. Okay. Now I've got them turned on on this screen and as soon as people come into a word interface on a document and they see these little things here, they turn them off. Now you go to the Home tab and you come over here to the Paragraph group and it's just there shown hide okay now they turn them off because they don't understand what they're all about and yeah I can understand where they're coming from but I would say you need them on you need to understand if you were having a problem with a, a document and you sent it over to me the very first thing I would do is open the document and I'd come and turn these on now basically I would do that I have a little look at that and then I can see what's gone on okay and I can see what you've got on and what you haven't got on and things like that and I think hey up you know the, the put a new line in here now just let me walk you through the actual names of them and then we'll go and explain what they do now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit okay so we can see what we're looking at basically yeah that's fine now this thing here, yeah, this little highlighter, that symbol is what we call a new line. Now it's you've put it in by yourself and you've done shift and return or shift and enter. But it's equivalent to the machine doing it where it's typed it across here and then it's got to this point here and then it's wrapped around automatically and started the second line. Basically it's a new line. That is what that is all about you've done it by doing shift and enter then we come down to here and we have this one this is what we call a new paragraph you've done that because you've hit return or enter on its own these little fellas here where it's just a little dot that is the space bar so if I literally yeah every time I press space bar I get another one so I can see what people have got in their documents okay further down the screen there was one there earlier now can you see this white space I'm having to struggle along can you see all this white space oh it annoys me to bits it really does how you get rid of that is you place your little mouse between the two pages and you just double click and what that will do is <laughs> when I do it properly that lied the white space and it gets it makes it so much easier when you working on a document now can you see this this little arrow here that is what you call a tab so that's a tab character so when you see one of these we know they've pressed the tab when you see a little dot in between two words yeah you know they've done spacebar when you see one of these little fellas you know they've pressed enter and when the you see one of these you know they've pressed shift and enter okay now they all have their own little roles and they all have their own little things that they do and why would we want to do them and all that watch this I am going to ask you a question now guys and the question is this what define the word sorry define the word to me define the word paragraph what is a paragraph I'll give you a second to think about it and there's only you in watching the video so you'll be able to answer yourself so it doesn't matter if you get it wrong we won't laugh watch this if I highlight this block of text 95% of the people would say that's a paragraph of text it's a block of text the string of sentences you know relating in topics there's a number of things that they would say but effectively it's that first block of text that I've got highlighted at the moment and grammatically you would be correct but in word you couldn't be further away from the truth it's totally wrong what it is basically whenever you type wherever you type the second you press enter that's the first paragraph so basically I started typing here I type my name, shift and enter, type the street, shift and enter, type the town, Essex, postcode, shift and enter, then the telephone number, then 
I pressed enter. So that becomes the first paragraph of text in this document. This is the second paragraph of text. This is the third paragraph of text. That is the fourth and that is the fifth. So whenever you see one of these little marks you know whatever you type be previous to that that becomes the paragraph. Now the reason it's handy to know that there's lots and lots of reasons to why it is handy but watch this if I want to select some data I go to a word if I double click it's the word if I triple click it's a paragraph but you've got to understand what a paragraph is so that's why you have to know there's a, a, another reason I'll explain in just two seconds now you come down here okay down the down the road yeah and then you've got your tabs again don't forget these tabs I'll explain about them later on I'm gonna do a complete video on tabs anyway now why would this be important okay why do you think you need to know what I'm talking and waffling on about right now I'll tell you why guys because you've got two types of formatting you've got character formatting and you've got paragraph formatting now character formatting I can do to one word or one character so if I highlight that up I can make that bigger I can make it bold I can change the color of it and that is all character formatting okay where when it comes for me to apply when it comes for me to apply paragraph formatting I can't do it just to one character because if I highlight that and say send to justify notice it's affected the entire paragraph if I put double line spacing on yeah it's affected the whole paragraph I cannot just do it to one character or one word because it is paragraph formatting and this is what you've got to get your heads around and, and not necessarily understand it 100% but you have to understand what's going on depending on the p type of formatting you put on depends on what you've got to do with it so basically what I would say to you is this guys to get round all these problems and these you know issues just select exactly what you want to execute the command on so if I want to let's say I want to affect this block of text here yeah or this block of text there I would highlight what I want to affect and then I would go and put the justification on I want so you know I might want to left align it I want to might I might want to put double line spacing on but I can't go wrong because I've selected the entire block that I want to affect does that make sense so all I'm saying to you is as long as you understand what you're working on and what you're working with it makes your life easy watch this if I place my cell pointer in there anywhere in there and then I decide to put an indent in because I want to put this over here I then just move that along notice I don't have to have anything highlighted because it's moving the entire paragraph because indents a paragraph formatting so basically when I'm moving this about because that's that is already all one paragraph yeah you can see that by that then when I'm literally moving the indents the entire paragraphs coming with me and I know that so I don't have to worry about selecting it oh I've just stuck a tab on I don't want that either yeah so you can literally come along here you can put your little highlight on yeah and it go, all goes in place then you come down here okay one word of warning and I've done it in a few videos guys and you will hear me do it on many videos when you're selecting your data or highlighting your data and you've got that data selected be very careful you don't touch that keyboard because that overwrites that data you 
I can't stress it enough guys there's loads of people lost data what they do is they select the data for whatever reason they might be making it bold they might be copying it you know it can be a, a million things and they'll highlight the data they'll go to do something else and if they've done they've just touched the keyboard and wiped the data out and then they save and doof it's gone it's lost so be very very careful of it yeah highlight your data do what you've got to do with it and then deselect that data just to keep it safe okay now then when you're highlighting your data highlight your data do what you've got to do and then remove that highlight okay now down here you've got your little tabs I'm just gonna hide that again so these are your tabs yeah now notice tab by tab now when I'm working with tabs I use different tabs but then I just literally highlight the data up I can now move these tabs about and it won't worry me because it affects the entire block because I've got them highlighted yeah you're okay with them brilliant one more little thing I need to show you guys just to keep you happy watch this if I highlight this block now just imagine that I'm putting a reference number in or I'm putting my name in but notice as I'm typing my name in notice now it has split my name between the two lines so I've got that there and I've got that here okay now I don't want that to happen so what I'm going to do is this I would firstly type my first name like I have and instead of pressing spacebar I do control shift spacebar and notice we get that little circle that is what you call a protected space then I would type my surname and notice now the two words are kept together because I've put a protected space in and all you've got to do is whatever you want to keep together on one line just put a protected space between the two yep that's lovely now then that's your formatting codes guys you can turn them off and on and not worry about them too much but you know I'm just trying to explain here the difference between the new line what's a paragraph paragraph formatting character formatting yeah anything you can do on one word is character formatting anything you do on a paragraph is paragraph formatting okay I'd like to thank you very much for your time thanks for watching I hope you found this informative don't forget to check me other videos out and if you sign up with us and subscribe with us we do do requests so if you want to know how to do tables or mail merge or anything like that uh, anything in any application actually because we will be getting around to it uh, we will do a request and we'll do a video for you thank you very much for your time bye